Okay, issues in privacy. Um, and this is a big one, I think. This, this one is one of my favorites, favorites especially for um, people of the age of this class, uh, 18 to 25, let's say, is privacy as important. Do you care about privacy as much as, um, as people who are older? People who are older care about privacy a lot, and it's a big issue, and it, and it keeps them from using a lot of social networking tools. It keeps them from even using their computers because they feel like someone's watching them and every, all the data is tracked. But my impression is that people of your and my target audience for this video, your age, aren't that concerned about it and that it's not as big an issue and if your personality or your identity is disclosed or if your employers find that you know you were on the beach with a beer bong or something like that not that big a deal and so um, I will talk some more about this in class and I'll, I'll probe you guys specifically to see how much of a big deal it is to you so then there's the issue of what should and what shouldn't be private huge issue totally untapped what information about me should be publicly available? What information about me should be protected? Huge debates about that, and hopefully now you have at least a little bit of an, of an edge in trying to be part of those debates. Can stuff really ever be gone? That's a clear answer to that issue. No. <laughs> are the security tools we have right now adequate to the task? Short answer to that, no. They are not adequate to the task. There's nothing that can't be hacked. There's nothing that can't be found out if people try really hard. So no, you can't delete stuff. No, security is not absolute. You can't really protect your security um, against people who are committed to finding your information. Um, balancing personalization and privacy. Now, this is a good one. This is a really good one. How much, and, I'll, and, and actually maybe I'll put that off into the next slide because I think I have more to say about that in terms of a balance. So um, let me just say um, this last one, which I did mention a little bit already and I want to come back to again now, and that's the idea that... Um, that any hurdle that you put in front of people to controlling their privacy is too big of a hurdle. So for example, you know, um, I could read the user agreement for every software product that I use, but am I gonna? No way, too big of a hurdle. And even if I did, I wouldn't really understand it. I'd have, it's like a full-time job, right? You have to be a lawyer in order to understand all this stuff and really understand what the implications of all the choices you have. So there's tons and tons of choices, and an organization can say, hey, you can totally protect your, your security if you just go into this obscure menu in this place and you choose this button and you choose that button, but it would take a lawyer to understand the issues, and it would take a computer scientist to figure out all the different ways, and it would take a full-time job just for you to control all of the things that you do on an individual basis to make sure that your, your information is protected. So those are hurdles. And every time you put up a little hurdle, people will just blow by it. You know, you don't really pay attention to it. The, fa the Facebook policy changed and Facebook even put something in your face that says it's changed and you should go check this out. And you don't because you're busy and what you really want to do is chat. Or what you really want to do is post that new video or whatever. So I want to also give you this idea of opt-in and opt-out. And it's, very, it's a big deal. Opt-in means you're not part of this thing until you say you want to be. Opt-out means you are part of it and say, until you say you don't want to be. And it makes all the difference in the world. Opt-in means that it's not going to happen unless people take that extra effort. Opt-in, opt-out, sorry, means it's going to happen unless you take that extra effort. So if you were Facebook, what would you do? How, or Google, what would you do? Would you make your privacy settings opt-in or opt-out? You want them to be opt-out because you want people to have the lowest privacy settings unless they say otherwise. And unless, you're, unless there's a lot of pressure on you to make them opt in, you're going to keep them opt out because that's in your interest. So the interest of organizations is to keep your data as, as open and easy for them to use as possible. And your interest is, I don't know what your interest is. Your interest is probably not as open and, and free as possible, but maybe it's not also as closed and locked down as possible. And, and brings us kind of to the conclusion.